Hey everybody, welcome back to the Long Dark. My name is Bear. It is time finally for the one point or sorry, point one five two update to the Long Dark. Hinterland has been teasing about this for a little while now, and they finally added the new area to the sandbox mode that is Coastal Highway. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start off on a brand new file here. I kind of got into a bit of a funk with the existing save play that we've been going on on the channel here on the Bear Taffy channel. It uh, just kind of became, you know, rudimentary, like just try to survive as long as you can, make a fort in the camp office and do everything you need to do to survive. But now with the Coastal Highway, we've got a lot of other things to check out, a lot more areas to explore. Of course, it's a brand new area, so I'm really excited for that. Story is still not available, of course, but we will be able to play this brand new area in the sandbox. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start off in the Coastal Highway area of the Long Dark. A mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought you a plane crashing down in the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? So I'll include a link to the patch notes down in the description below so you guys can check out all the brand new stuff uh, that is involved with the .152 update. Not a lot of huge changes. The biggest change, of course, is going to be the fact that we are in a new area now. Coastal Highway is going to be where we're playing at this point. Uh, but there are some significant changes that were made that will impact the game. So we, uh, we gotta make some notes of that. I'm probably just gonna talk about them as I come across them, if I can remember what they are. But, uh, for now, let's have a quick look at the menu so you guys can see what's going on. This is one of the big changes that I wanted to make note of early on here, is the fact that they've now given you a bit more of an indicator of what's happening with your, uh, with your condition meters. As you can see here, we're pretty cold, so that cold meter is going up very, uh, quickly. Not extremely quickly, but, uh, much more quickly than it normally would be. And, uh, that is really helpful, actually. I really like that addition to the game. Also, now that I hear a wolf howling in the... Oh, sorry, howling in the background. Probably worth noting the fact that the wolves are now uh, slightly altered. They will uh, be more aggressive if you're in worse conditions. So as long as your condition is pretty high up, you should be able to fend off the wolves. or uh, They probably won't even attack you, but if you're feeling pretty weak, the wolves are more likely to take advantage of your crippled state. So I want to be careful about that. I nearly just broke my ankle right off the start here. That would have been a brilliant maneuver, but... I'm going to go check out this lake here. I feel as though Mystery Lake may be connected to Coastal Highway. I feel like that was the uh, that was the impression I got when I was reading the patch notes, when I was looking into what they uh, all the changes that they actually made. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of the areas from Mystery Lake connected to this place. Although it's looking like, holy cow, this is massive. If we can really go out that far, like, I'm seeing stuff out in the distance over there, of course. There's some wolves in the middle of the lake here, so I probably don't want to really investigate that too much further. But I feel like I might just be able to walk in this direction and try to go for a long, long time without stopping. So we might even give that a whirl here. Getting a little bit warmer inside this area, but of course it's not really any place we can call home for even a little bit of a period of time. So we're probably just going to search through these drawers and try to find some stuff. Some Summit Soda is nice. They did make a lot of changes to your pickups as well, so no longer will you be finding uh, as much food and medical supplies just strewn about random areas as you normally would. They kind of made it so medical supplies almost exclusively show up in the med kits that you find in certain buildings, and the food and such is going to be a lot less likely to show up in the random canisters like that. So I think I got a little bit lucky in our first exploration here, but I am uh, hoping that we'll just be able to find a really nice shelter like this building over here, for example, or this cluster of buildings over here looks pretty solid. Lots of things going on out here in the frozen lake, though. This is huge. Man, this is looking fantastic. I really am excited to check out the, the new areas here, see what we can find. Man, it's just... This is, uh, I'm getting back to the feeling that I initially had when I played this game. Like, I, I'm really excited for what this can become. And these kind of updates, big updates like these that are still going on in early access and the alpha builds of the game, that makes me even more excited for the future of it. So let's, let's keep our hopes high. A fishing camp. This looks pretty interesting. This is like a pile of fishing net. I got some buoys here as well. A little, little bit of extra goodies to check out. Probably just going to go inside all these buildings, check them out real fast. I might even follow along the coastal highway here and see where that ends up taking us, although it might do me well to explore a little bit further around the outside of them as well. Tin of sardines, it looks pretty solid. I'm going to grab that. Some pinnacle peaches as well. Of course, we don't have our... Uh, ooh, that's some condensed milk. Nice, I didn't even look at that. 
Uh, we don't have our can opener anymore. We have started from scratch here, so we're going to be hoping to find those resources really fast. Empty metal container is no good. There is a bed, of course. We want to try to use that if possible. Both of these are locked. Or not, you know, not use the bed immediately, of course, but try to use the bed whenever we can to really get a solid amount of rest. Let's see if the map is in the game yet. I'm pretty sure it's not. I just wanted to have a quick look. Okay, so they actually took it out of the menu here, so that's kind of nice. They make it so it's not even, you know, taunting you with its inavailability. So that's that's nice to see. Also, another quick thing, the fact that our, uh, our fatigue directly impacts the amount of things we can carry. It hasn't done so yet, but I imagine when it gets up into that yellow area... Uh, we're probably going to be able to carry a lot less stuff as that happens, so we got to be wary of that. we got to make sure that we're uh, always always aware of how much we're carrying and how much that's impacting our fatigue, our encumbrance level. It's going to be of high priority. I'm just going to search these one by one here and then probably continue walking along the highway. Still not too cold, and we're warming up a little bit every time we go inside, so it's not that big of a deal. Ooh, a backpack. Probably has something useful. Or not. Completely empty. All right. I feel like I should take a backpack with me, you know? Like, if I find a backpack, I feel as though it'd be worthwhile to bring that along for the extra extra uh, carrying space, but... I guess that doesn't happen all the time, does it? Alright, searching all the drawers up. I should have a quick look at what I'm really wearing right now. Ooh, man. A Mariner's pea coat, nice. Heavy wool coat, we could definitely utilize that. Probably looks like something I want to wear right now, honestly. That'll come in handy. Basic wool scarf is good as well. Grab through these drawers, too. Mittens. Oh, boy. All right, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Here we go. Basic boots, not bad. I should look at my gear. I'm going to have a quick look at my clothing right now as soon as I'm sure that there's nothing else to check out inside of this particular area. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much more. This is a nice-looking little cabin, though. I feel kind of bad. All right. Equipment set. Let's look at our clothing here. See if we can improve our uh, condition. The Mariner's pea coat. Yep, probably going to want to throw that on right now. That's actually a really, really nice warmth bonus. So that feels good. Mittens are not nearly as good as the basic gloves. Actually, they are better than the basic gloves for the warmth. About 0.2 degrees Celsius there. I might put those on, but eh. Probably not entirely necessary. All right, let's go. Some good finds there. Good finds here in the, uh, in the Fisherman's Wharf. Downtown San Francisco, apparently, right? Because this is exa exactly what Fisherman's Wharf looks like. <laughs> Ooh, first aid kit. Okay, so we might actually find some good stuff anymore. here. Antiseptic, very good. And antibiotics as well. Anti-everything. Beautiful. Plastic container contains some jeans. And a water... Ooh, nice, a water bottle. Okay, that's good, too. I want to pay close attention to make sure I don't, like, forget to grab a... Well, I should light a match, actually. That's probably a good idea. Grab some reclaimed wood here, too. I want to make sure I don't miss out on, like, a can opener or something that's just laying out in the... in the open, waiting to be taken. Let's see what's inside of here. Nothing good. All right, well... Not bad inside of this area, either. Getting the water bottles really nice. Good to have that early on. We got one last building here. I should check on my supply of matches real quick, just to make sure I'm not burning through those willy-nilly. See how many of these we have right now. Tools, uh, materials, not what I'm looking for. Tools, we have wood, we have 11 wood matches. Okay, so I probably shouldn't just light those uh, when I have sunlight to give me the majority of the vision I need inside of these areas. Nothing doing in that one. Basic wool hat's good to go. And one last drawer. I like that some of these are open now. That's pretty interesting. It's like the, the people left in a hurry, whatever was going on. It's pretty neat. Another flare, that could be helpful. And, uh, ooh, nice. What do we got here? A, what is that? A rifle round. One single rifle round on the ground. Okay, so that's a nice little change. You can just find rifle ammunition just laying around waiting to be taken. That's that's kind of interesting. All right. So we're done with this entire area. Time to make our way elsewhere. I think we have, yeah, we pretty much cleaned it out. Cleaned it dry. Let's go. I'm going to follow along the highway for a little while here. As you can see down there now, the calories are still in play, but they, uh, in the patch notes, they mentioned the fact that they got rid of the caloric deficit idea, which means to me that they took away the negative calories, and instead they just keep you at zero, and then you're starving at that point, and there's... Well, I mean, it's, it's basically the same effect from what I can understand, but you just need to be aware of the fact that you're at zero as opposed to 
steadily dripping down into Looks the like negative areas. Cardboard matches are very nice. I just realized that I had, had very few of those, so good to see another box. Wool socks, pork, and beans. Obviously need to find a can opener sooner than later here. Would be very nice. Even more cardboard matches and another water bottle. Very, very good. Okay. Good finds early on here. I feel like I don't necessarily want to just keep walking out onto the lake here, even though those are guaranteed buildings over this way. There are wolves scattered about this area, too. You can kind of see one down there. It's just a little speck, but he is indeed a wolf. I want to be careful about that. I'm going to keep heading down the highway. I'm going to keep my eye out to the left side as well for the possibility of some kind of passageway through the mountains. See if maybe we can look into something else here. I am not getting nearly as fatigued this time around. I think that's another one of the patch notes they mentioned, the fact that it is, it's not going to be as much of a wear on you uh, in the initial goings of things to run around and spend a lot of time outside trying to find good shelter, trying to find new buildings and such. I'm totally not looking on the left side like I thought I was going to be. Oh, speaking of which, hello there broken down bridge of sorts okay well hold on a second if we can get up there that looks pretty promising so there must be a way around if I can find a path maybe on this side of the, the big rocks over here now nah, it looks like it's got potential I want to check this out okay yeah I think we're getting somewhere I imagine we can go all the way around this right if we can climb up here Oh, I might not be able to climb this, though. Oh, no. Maybe. Maybe I can cheese it a little bit. Okay, come on, man. Come on, buddy. Get on up there. Get on up there, Skyrim style. Climb those mountains. All right, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I might be able to go all the way around still. I really want to go up that broken bridge. That looks like fun, man. Let's go check that out. We can easily... One day find a way around. This looks good. This looks like what we're looking for. Okay. Probably shouldn't be climbing up along this wall like that. Okay, so this is a pretty designated path here. Pretty obviously designated path, rather. There we go. Alright, that was what we were looking for. Nice. So this has got to lead to something, right? This has got to lead to something uh, probably similar to the forestry overlook. The big, uh, the big tall tower on the top of the hill. Back at Mystery Lake, I'd imagine we're going to be leading ourselves in that in that sort of direction. I'm kind of terrified that this bridge is going to collapse underneath me as soon as I start walking on it. It kind of looked pretty dilapidated, but well, actually it looks pretty solid when we're up here now. Okay. This is indeed what we were looking at. All right, I'm, I'm willing to follow this. We've got a lot of daylight left, and we're looking at uh, yellow bars all around. Let's actually see. Okay, so yeah, it did it took down our... Uh, it took down our available inventory space by about five kilograms so that is concerning cause for alarm there definitely want to try to find some shelter here hopefully find a can opener at some point too Ooh, this is looking like a pretty big path over here though oh, this is kind of starting to worry me now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to follow this long enough to get to where I want to go let's keep going for it though Still beautiful. It's got its own. It's got its own style, man. But I can still appreciate it. Nice looking feel to it. It's hard to. It's hard to really change the aesthetic. I mean, I was expecting things to be slightly different going into Coastal Highway, but I mean, it's gonna be snow covered. Uh, there's not. <laughs> there's not a ton you can do. I mean, they added like the fishing nets and the buoys and stuff. Got some extra killer to it. But other than that, it's gonna be pretty much the same thing. Uh, we got our first. Ooh, I think I. There are rabbits. I'm pretty sure that was just a deer hopping around, but rabbits are in the game now as well, so we've got to keep an eye out for those. Here's our first building. Doesn't really appear to be like the end end goal of this pathway, but it could still be good. Just checking around to make sure I don't miss anything on the outside. It is, it is fueled, so we clearly are going to find some warmth inside of here. Let's go ahead and check it out real fast. Probably going to keep moving. I don't think I necessarily need to stop here. Down ski jacket. Ooh, very nice. Very light and warm. Excellent. That's good to find. I want to make sure I'm not missing out on anything on the bottom here. I could light a match probably, but it's not entirely necessary. Just want to keep a sharp eye out. Make sure I don't miss anything valuable here. There is a lantern, of course. Definitely want to take that. Cloth is good as well. Can opener, please. Anywhere? No? Newsprint's good. 
Oh, no can opener. All right. Not the greatest, uh, not the greatest building in the world here, but that's okay. We'll keep moving. Got a little bit warmer. Checking our status here. I wonder if the ski jacket's actually going to be a little bit better than what we're wearing right now. Let's have a quick look here. So the Mariner's Peacoat com compared to the down ski jacket. So this is going to be 1.9 to 1.0. Uh, Mariner's Peacoat is actually better. All right. We'll keep it on then. I imagine you can only wear one of those. That would make sense. Let's see. Can we keep following a path over this way? This might actually be the... Uh... Oh, no. Here we go. Yep. Keeps going up. I was thinking maybe that would be the end result of that roadway, but... Oh, we've got plenty more to go up here now. Oh, goodness. That's not good, though. How's my condition? I might be able to scare him off. I might be able to struggle, too. Tell you what. Let's do this. He's coming at me. Oh, yeah, he's he's ready to he's ready to go. Okay, we're going we're gonna to play this game. We're going to play the avoid the wolf. Oh, God. Oh, man, I thought he <laughs> I thought I saw him dropping off trying to give chase for a minute there. That was terrifying. Oh, okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's good to go. Oh, boy. All right, I think we can get around this still. Oh, careful here, though. Oh, goodness, this isn't good. I don't want to break an ankle trying to get around these wolves. All right. I should be able to get all the way up. Nice. I think I avoided them. Oh, man. That was dangerous. They just disappeared, though. I'm kind of terrified of where they ended up. They might have tried to go all the way around to get me from the other side. I would not uh, I would not put it past the wolves, man. They have, they have done more dastardly things to get to me before. Okay. Up we go. This is getting really high up here, man. I imagine it's actually getting... Well, it's getting a little bit warmer, actually, oddly enough. That's kind of interesting. Might have to grab uh, a bite to eat. I don't want to use the bedroll out here, though. That is almost asking to die in the first day. Trying to sleep out here in this wide-open path passageway. Oh, boy. Hello there, though. What do we have here? It's train tracks. Okay. Looks like there's a little trailer over here that we could call home for a minute. Train unloading. Okay. I hear a wolf. I don't think he's nearby. Interesting. This looks like a dead end over here, but... Right here. We can definitely check out. Okay. Oh, boy. Energy bar. Very nice. Let's get early find. Check out all the drawers in here as well. They are getting warmer, of course. Newsprint. Very good find as well. I need this one, too. Still looking for that can opener, man. We got a lot of canned food, not a, not any kind of way to use it. Ooh, cedar firewood, nice. Good, good, good. More simple tools. I suppose I could go with two of those. Uh, still nothing in the can opener department, though. There are a few containers here. Let's see if we can get lucky. Lancer to fuel. All right. Antibiotics as well. We can take that. All right. We should probably check on our inventory space actually as soon as I get another thing here. Jeans, another .5. We are over-encumbered at the moment, so I probably want to try to rest inside of this trailer. More newsprint, too. I'm probably just going to try to harvest a couple of these things. Oh, man. Not getting incredibly useful stuff, but still good. Still good goodies to be grabbing. All right. Let's do some harvesting. Can we still do that? Yep, there we go. Uh, take some of these old crappy things. Turn this cotton sock. Actually, am I wearing socks? I hope I'm wearing socks. I'd imagine I got on a plane wearing socks, right? That would make sense. And uh, if I can repair a couple of these things here, uh, the cotton long underwear would be my first. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, I don't have a sewing kit. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Do I have food I can eat right now as well? Condensed milk would be good. That is, uh, That would be a thirst thing, I would imagine, though. So the tin of sardines I could eat up as well. That's 300 calories, so that's not bad. The thirst level's how we look, and I just pretty much need to eat what I've got and drink what I've got, and that will probably be... I'll probably be A-OK. -okay. The fatigue is getting up there. Oh, wait a minute. I... Oh, I can smash the can. Okay, so now you have options of how to open up the cans. That's pretty awesome. You can use the can opener, knife, hatchet, or you can smash it, which obviously is not great. Uh, we just, just have regular water, so I suppose I could just drink that. The water bottles that we found are going to be able to solve that problem. 
All right, no longer thirsty. My fatigue is up there, so let's go ahead and grab a quick rest. A couple hours so we can hopefully be able to explore a little bit more and find somewhere else. But in the meantime, that's going to do it for this episode of The Long Dark Coastal Highway. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Playing more coming to the channel here with this new update to The Long Dark. Really excited about this. Going to be playing a whole bunch of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>